what is the usual timeline for spouse plus uh, click uh, spouse plus kids application day right now it is there are two type of timelines either it is uh, eight weeks or even more or it is 15 to 20 days two type of timelines are there typically it is six to eight weeks uh, but then some type of tensions going on through my mind yes i understand that uh, tension is there you may be anxious why while doing your application until unless you reach canada and until unless everything is sorted but here uh, uh, sometimes you need to take this type of decision i also took it because everyone was stopping me uh, don't go on study visa you will get direct pr as well fir baithe rehte to baithe rehte so uh, my decision would be don't stop your applications if it is if you are already in the process if you, if you have made your mind then process it so it is a calculated risk because nothing is is on stake nothing is on stake means yes you are you are emotionally attached with your application and uh, your emotions are going to be broken if you don't reach canada but in terms of money it is not on stake we have a great visa success rate in mature cases where the age is about 30 35 even age 40 as well there are so many students who have already got visa with this type of complex cases so to apply with me ping me on whatsapp or call me on my number uh, your consultant you yourself you can get the assurance that if something bad happens in that case will i get the refund back yes definitely will get the refund back you will get this kind of answer only i am already inside canada and i can meet people in if something bad happens if some refund is stuck or some issue happens and we have well wishers known friends family members everywhere almost everywhere and traveling inside canada is also not really difficult it can be done so to the best of my belief can it be sorted yes it can be sorted and uh, there are other systems as well matlab kaan marodna hai to i know ki kaan kaise marodna hai i don't usually share it i don't usually ask people to do it we don't require it but wo wale methods bhi hain there are other methods as well so even if governments are there and they take poor decisions there are other uh, organizations as well inside canada and there are provincial government uh, governments as well because universities and col- colleges they come under provincial government as well so there are different kind of bodies if something is against us doesn't mean everything is against us it doesn't work this way so uh, if if the entire student community is against the entire government provincial government and the systems what is going to there will be a big chaos inside canada as well no one can bear it there are millions of students inside canada it cannot it cannot work out this way so uh, students are powerful it's just that students are scattered they don't do anything foolish and they are scared of doing uh, foolish things because until unless we get the pr we are scared of things but if something goes really extreme in that case there is no other option but to revolt so i am not afraid uh, of these type of actions by any government these are extreme steps i am assuming it will not happen it even if it happens that we have again we have cushion for our funds for our money whatever we are depositing in different banks or uh, to the college and universities as well so proceed for the applications i will not stop because again it is from my side calculated risk you need to take risk sometimes it is bit higher sometimes it is bit lower but in all decisions risk is there you should take it and proceed and uh, question is there that i am assuring you uh, before proceeding just save the admission helpline and visa helpline numbers it can help you in uh, connecting with me or the visa team in future so just save these numbers thank you so much for watching this video till the end see you in next video